If you don't know how to hustle, baby, you can't sell. Hey, hey, everyone. Welcome to another great episode of the Sales Evangelist Podcast. I'm your host, Donald Kelly, the Sales Evangelist, and I'm so excited for another great episode. I'm so excited to be here with you today. I have a great guest on the show. His name is Mr. Vernon T. Foster II. And this guy is a true hustler. He's always out there doing something with for his business. And I think it's it's um, he's a perfect example to bring on to share about the idea of sales professionals and entrepreneurs hustling. That is going to be the difference between you being successful or not, is how determined you are and how much you want to hustle. And we can get more into that as we dive into the discussion. But before that, as always, you know, I got to give some shout outs. And this week, I want to give a shout out, big shout out this week to a few folks. Mike, Thank you so much for the kind words. I'm excited to work with you guys. Also, want to give a big shout out to Anne Marie up north. Thank you so much, Anne Marie. Angela, thank you, thank you for the kind words. Russ, I appreciate the nice little article there. I look forward to reading it. Megan, you're always so nice. Thanks for reaching out to me. And also, Jurgen, I'm so stoked that the article that I wrote was able to benefit you. And if you'd like to connect with me, you can go ahead and reach me. You can find me on Twitter, Donald C. Kelly. You can find me on LinkedIn, Donald C. Kelly, and also connect with me on Facebook, our private Facebook group, Shh, The Sales Evangelizers. It's where sellers, entrepreneurs, salespeople come together to learn, grow, build strategic alliances, learn, and just have a good time, get motivated. So I'd love to have you join that. Again, it's The Sales Evangelizers. Love to add you to the group, invite your friends. And you can also connect with us on our Facebook page, The Sales Evangelist. Either way, I'd love to connect with you and hear from you. Also want to encourage you to check out TSC Hustlers League. This is awesome. We're in our soft launch phase. I gave this big surprise last week. And it's really cool, the excitement that we're seeing so far. It's TSC Hustlers League. Again, TSC Hustlers League. You can find it by going to salesevangelist.com forward slash hustlers. Salesevangelist.com forward slash hustlers. Again, salesevangelist.com forward slash hustlers. It's also on our homepage at salesevangelist.com. I would love for you to check out this community. Everything that I ever had in awesome sales conditions, working for different companies, I've taken and I'm putting this into the TSC Hustlers League. We're going to have online training from myself and also from some of our past guests, expert, exclusive training that's only going to be available in the community, in TSC Hustlers League. We'll also have competition. We'll have motivation. We'll have time for you to come in and share your thoughts. What are some of the challenges? Have group work where we can just share thoughts and build off of each other and to just get motivated and get excited. We got to hustle together. And that's why I'm so dedicated to this group. It is one of my newest just excitement and passion. TSC Hustlers League, check it out. We are going to be launching officially in November when classes start, when the doors open and payment. But for right now, check it out. Get in there. We have a discount, 20% discount available for those who sign up. Again, again go to salesevangelist.com forward slash hustlers. The salesevangelist.com forward slash hustlers. Telling you, so stoked. But ladies and gentlemen, right now, let's put our hands together for Mr. Vernon T. Foster the second. Welcome to the show, Vernon. What's up? What's up, Mr. Donald Kelly? Donald Kelly for president. Man, I'm so excited, man. We're going to run in uh, 2016. You know, we got a campaign going. And <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Man. Uh, I love Christina it. would kill me, man. And I, she she don't want me to do any politics, even though I have some desire down there, Mr. Vernon. But, you know. Do, you do look good on stage. You have a stage presence about it. <laughs> Thanks, man. I'm going to slip you that 50. <laughs> That's good. No, man. We, we, we've, I appreciate it, man. We actually had a... We had some discussion early on about, you know, me going in politics, but, you know, obviously I was born in Jamaica, so I could not be a president, but, you know, it'd be good to, you know, take some part in your local community and help to shape what you, you know, your the local area, give back. So, right, right. We'll see if Christina change over the years. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, Vernon, man, we, I'm excited to have you on the show. You are such a, you know, person who with energy, with enthusiasm, you're a true hustler. And you're all about making your success. And sometimes we come across salespeople who, for one reason or another, they just don't have the, the motivation. An entrepreneur, they have like a cool idea, it's great business, it's great product, but they just don't know how to sell the sucker. But in our Facebook group, a private Facebook group, the Sales Evangelizers, we had a discussion recently. You mentioned a comment. And I wanted to chat with you a little bit more about motivation to kind of discuss that and learn about what you do to get psyched up, what makes you go out every day and hustle and so forth. But before we dive into that, why don't you tell us a little bit more about you and and what you do, Vernon? Well, thanks for having me on the show, Mr. Donald Kelly. I appreciate it. 
Um, this is this is a great show. If anybody's listens, make sure you hit subscribe. Go uh, rate and leave a review. Five stars, please. That's all we like. Um, a little bit about me <laughs> kind of stepping back and what I do now. Uh, I mean, that's a, we, I don't think we have enough time to kind of go into the history of who, you know, and what. But I think now, um, you know, I, I actually work with um, – with companies um, and professionals, helping them launch podcasts and helping them get their message out to the world, Uh, you know, building that know, like, and trust factor through the medium that people are listening to now. If anybody is tuning into the show or, you know, has been following podcasting over the last, you know, couple years, it's, it's, it's really hit. Um, you know, it the, hit the home run recently with uh, stuff like cereal and startup and now businesses are starting to, you know, get into that. So I help them, you know, kind of craft their message and, and put that out there. And we have a team that we work with that uh, that helps them as well. And in terms of um, in terms of sales, I mean, I've, I've sales are just the lifeblood of anything that we do. Right. Like if you're in business you, if you don't have sales, then you don't have a business. So <laughs> that's kind of, that's kind of what I do and, and kind of my philosophy on sales. And I love that, man. And one of the things I would butcher the quote, so I'm not even going to try it, but I know that, um, uh, the great, um, uh, who is it? Nelson Mandela, who shared the idea that, you know, basically we have to become the masters of our own destiny. Right. And the same thing with salesmen. How could you, what, what could you say to someone who doesn't have the motivation or is lacking in their sales motivation? What would you say to them to help them get some fire burning? Um, do you want to eat? <laughs> <laughs> do you like to eat? Because if you don't go out and sell, you're going to starve, right? Um, if you don't go out and sell, how can you provide for your family? Um, and a lot of people, um, you know, my philosophy is that I, I don't like to put my destiny in anyone else's hands just because I – I seen what happened with stuff like that. I seen the financial crisis and how people lost their jobs. You know, I graduated in 2009. Um, I had gotten two degrees, one in marketing, one in real estate, and I was ready to take on the world and, you know, and hop into that, my successful career. And, uh, you know, there wasn't a lot of opportunity out there. There wasn't a lot of jobs. And I kind of felt blindsided by the American dream. It was like my whole life. People were like, go to school, get a good job, get an education. And, you know, when that time came for me, when I did everything that they told me to do and I went to, you know, apply for that job, they were like, hey, we can't even hire you because the economy sucks right now. So um, if you never, you know, from that point on, I learned that you know, you, you, you always have to be in a position to where you can go out and kill the meat and bring it home, you know, for the, the women and children to eat. Because if you don't, no one else will, you know, um, everybody will, everybody says, you know, like, I got your back, man, I'll take care of you. And that's cool. And I think they do to an extent, but if, when it comes down to it, you're, you are the sole provider, um, and creator of your own destiny. So, you can't really put that in anyone else's hands and expect them to be able to fulfill that. I love that too, man. I love the fact that you you can't put it in anyone else's hand, the idea of going out and, and making it happen and not relying on anyone else. Because if you truly do that, if you truly give all of your power to someone else, you have no control over anything. I mean, I've seen that with the... with. I, I am, I'm privileged enough that the sales evangelist is our full-time opportunity now and that... You know, I'm I'm not necessarily working for the man, but the you know, <laughs> you know. In Congrats the past, on that, by the way, because that's that's a huge deal. That shows the power of this medium. By the way, that's an awesome testimony. Thank you, I appreciate it, man. And it um, it was because it's it's like I can sit back and do it for someone else, but but you know, if I really want it, I can do it for myself as well, and and I can have a little bit more control over the things that I want to do, what I want to say, how I want to go about doing things, and right. we've seen a great success with that. And and I mean, talk a little bit more about um, Vernon here for a minute. What are some things that you do personally that gets you pumped and to get you go out every single day? I know we talked about you got to eat and so forth, but is there any th- rituals that you have? Do you do any, do you read any books, listen to any right. music? What do you do to keep your motivation high? Right. That's, and that's important, right? Like for me to sit here and just be like, oh, you got to go out and kill it, man, every day. Like that's not realistic always. Um, and you, and you gotta, you gotta prime yourself. You gotta be watching your inputs and outputs. I don't watch the news. Okay. Because that's negative stuff. I, I surround myself around people that are at my level 
or above, you know, like I'm hanging out with people like Donald Kelly or, you know, or people that are on another level, you know. So I think that's important, too, because you start to soak up that knowledge. You start to soak up that swag and you're like, hey, man, I have confidence. I can do this. And the other thing is, um, you know, I, I read a lot. I, I you know, I, I pr- I've pride myself. I told my mom last night, I, was, I said, I read more books after um after I graduated than I did in school. <laughs> so that's that's kind of funny. And in terms of daily rituals, my I own my first two hours of the day. Um, I'm very much uh, into meditation. I'm very, very much into, uh, you know, having a gratitude journal and writing down those three things that I'm grateful for that happened today, the day before. Um, because, you know, without gratitude, it's easy to get lost in you know, uh, oh, I don't have enough or, you know, you know, I'm, I'm not enough. So coming from a place of gratitude, I think is important. Um, the, the inputs and outputs are important. And I also think, um, you know, surrounding yourself around, around the right people. And then in terms of, you know, the meditation and stuff, that's just slowing down because everything in our society is so fast paced. We want it now. And, um, you know, we have to cultivate that, that patience. I know at least for me, um, that's, that's my truth and it may not work for everybody, but that's, that's just what has worked for me. I love what you mentioned there with the mom comment. I, you know, we were just cleaning up my, my wife and I moved into our new place several months now. We still had two boxes, like four boxes or big boxes that we just dreaded going through. We finally went through them and set up a, another little room that we have, which is like a little library right now. And I'm like, man, we do have a lot of books. And it's and it's like, yeah, a lot of this stuff is like post-college too <laughs> because, you know, it, it's a desire. It's a true desire to be able to learn and to grow. So that, that's true there. And and speaking, just got to double back and correct Vernon talking about hanging out with people like me. I'm hanging out with people like him, man. I'm trying to get to, <laughs> trying to, get to Vernon level, man. So, <laughs> but yeah, I love the ritual. I love the, the idea there. I have a, a ritual that I follow and I need to perfect it a little bit better, but it includes- What's, what's yours? Uh, early morning, man. I'm I'm an early riser, and I need to do and keep continue to improve on it and and solidifying that habit. But I'll get up early in the morning, and I need to do a little bit of a workout. You got, I got to put a little right. bit of workout in there, and I do some listen some some little motivation there, and I do some affirmations right. because my goal is to create the best sales training organization and the greatest sales repertoire of education online and and that's going to come and it's not going to come that's what we have you got to speak as if now said so, you know right. we're absolutely we're the greatest sales training organization in the world and i i tell myself that and it, it pushes me to be able to perform what can i do today to make that attain to that goal i want to be the greatest husband in the world and the greatest father in the world you know someday so i, I repeat my affirmations i do my workout then I'll do a spiritual side. I'll get my, you know, scriptures going and I'll, you know, listen to some scriptures or read something and going on that or I'll, and then I, I got to put some, some training in there as well for my sales skills, sharpen my sales skill, whether I'm listening to something, a, a new book, reading a book, studying upon some things, I got to improve on my skills. And then I go out and hustle and grind. You got to go out and hustle and grind from, you know, and, and outbeat yourself. And you got to eat right too. And I've seen that to make a big difference before, you know, in my performance, I got to, got to eat right. And when I want to, cause if I want to be able to attain all those things, we're in, I got to make sure that my body, the vessel is, is well taken care of, you know, that's, that's the means. And if my body goes out, then everything else is going to fall apart. So I, I got to, you got to do those things. So that's important to me. And another thing that's big for me too, is family, you know, my wife and I and our family. So we have built into our schedule family time, you know what I mean? Like Monday nights is, is family right. time. And uh, also, you know, like our Sundays, you go out and eat with the family, go to family's house and eat and, and you hang out and in date night, <laughs> you got to man. So, you know, building those things in and those keeps my motivation going. We had a great conversation with family this weekend and after dinner, dinner chat, and it was like a really big motivation to let's go out and grind this week. So it, it, those things help me to keep motivated and keep going. And that's that's great because I think that as entrepreneurs, as salespeople, you know, as even professionals, we get so and we get we it, we find it hard to separate ourselves from the work. Right? We are not our work. Like we are who we are, um, but we are not what we do. If that makes sense, um, that may not make sense for some people, but I think for the longest time I had a struggle with 
pulling myself from my work to do those things, to, to, you know, to run in the morning, to practice affirmations like you're talking about, to take that time for myself because I was like, well, I, I don't have two hours to, to spend before I start working. I need to grind, man. Like, <laughs> you know, like there's no time to spend with my mom. I need to grind because I need to make sure that I get this money. But, you know, what's, um, you know, what's interesting about that is when you start to fixate on money and that's your only objective, then you start to see all these other things in your life kind of start to um, unravel and fall apart your relationships but because you're fixated on work and money or just or just hustling and you're not taking the time to take care of your health to 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 spend time with your family and that's balance. We all need balance. We're humans. We're not machines. Even cell phones need to be plugged in to recharge, you know? So what why should we what makes us think that we can just go 100% all the time? So man, words well spoken there, man. That's 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 good, V. I like that. I love the the cell phone analogy there that we all need that little charge and that rest and recuperation. Um, it's, it's, it's vital. And, you know, as, as we discuss further, like, you know, the motivational side and, you know, how can we help keep motivated? I think one thing too, is when you do have those things in balance, you do have those, those things there, you find a way to be able to stretch yourselves or you do more with less, if that makes sense. So, and, you know, you might say, well, I, I don't have time to, like, we talked about the workout there and you figured out how you need to put the time in for your workout and things like that. You don't may not have 10 hours. Now you have eight hours. What can I do in eight hours that's going to make me successful? And what can I do tomorrow to improve on that? How can I ma- maximize those eight hours? And you'll be amazed once you start setting goals and uh, in your motivation. What kind of goals do you set for yourself, V? Uh, man, I set. <laughs> this is a, I actually did a cool experiment over the weekend. I kind of like projected out 25 years. So I'm 30 now, and that would be 655. Um, so I was like, well, what, what do I want to have accomplished at age uh, 55? And, you know, it, it, what's, what, what's so funny about this is that none of it really related to money. It was more so like having helped people. You know, uh, uh, I think one of the things was I want to have – contributed to some kind of organization or helped um, people that are underprivileged or live in impoverished community empower themselves through education and self-sustaining um, practices. Uh, and, and that's cool because when you uh, kind of when you look, so you project out and then you look at the here and the now, it's you're like, wow, man, maybe I should be start starting to think about those things now, you know, when I'm 30 instead of, you know, when I'm, uh, you know, 55. So uh, I set goals like that. Um, I also set income goals, prospecting goals, you know, um, and, and I think goals are important. But I actually was was talking to my, my teacher w- uh, about this yesterday. You know, expectations are, are kind of have been one of the things that I've struggled with. And and I think it's important to set goals, but I also think it's important to be flexible, right? Like if you say, I'm going to earn 10K in six months and you don't earn 10K, don't beat yourself up about that. Be flexible in saying, okay, well, I didn't hit 10K. What did I reach? How could I get better? How can I improve? You know, if you say you want to be the the president, like Donald Kelly, <laughs> if you want to run for president, um, you know, and you set this expectation for that uh, and it doesn't happen, you can really beat yourself up and feel like a bad person, man. And, and I've done I've done that a lot. Uh, I think the gratitude journal has helped with that because coming from a place of saying, all right, well, maybe I didn't hit this goal exactly, but here's what I accomplished or here's what I learned. Or maybe, you know, I set out to be an NFL football player, and, but that didn't, you know, work out, but I ended up being a podcaster. So you being setting those, I think it's important to set goals because they're a roadmap. They give you a guideline, but it's also important to have that, um, that flexibility built in 
to where you're not um, being so um, stern and saying, if, if it doesn't happen this way, then I'm not a successful person. Or if it doesn't happen this way, then, you know, I'm going to give up. And especially with, with time, because we get fixated on like, you know, I want it by this date. And I think that's a, we're a product of our culture for that. But um, also it's something that like, you know, I, I know I personally struggle with just because I want it now. I, I was like, I'm, I'm a hustler. I'm hustling every day, right? I'm getting <laughs> every on the day phone. I'm hustling. <laughs> every day I'm hustling. So why can't I have it now? But it, it takes time to cultivate uh, that patience and you can't build an empire overnight, you know? So true, man. I, I got to agree with you on that. And I, I love the fact that you put in there, you have the goals, but you have the expectations and the flexibilities in, in, in that. And, and it's true. So love it, man. If we, I know we, I wish I can keep you here all day, man. I know you're busy. <laughs> you got to go out and do some good stuff. And I understand that. But if there's one major th- uh, takeaway, one thing that everyone should hear or should take away from this episode, what's that one thing, Vernon? Mm, the one thing. Um, don't be afraid to go out there and drum up the bit and drum up the business. Don't be afraid to go out there and live out your dream or your purpose or, or go out and, and prospect. And because I don't, I don't think you can ever depend on somebody to be your sole provider. Um, that's just not the way it works. Um, and then I believe when, if you do that and you're consistent and you set goals, um, and you manage your expectations that the universe will eventually provide what you've asked, what you've asked for. So, so just kind of having that mindset of that you can do it and, um, you know, maybe coming up with your own personal daily ritual to, to cultivate the right mindset and then just be trusting that there, there's an abundance out there and that eventually if you work hard enough and long enough that you will get what you want. Love it. Love it, man. Dude, I'm pumped. I'm going to submit those papers. <laughs> as soon as I hit 35, man, submit for the presidency. I don't care. <laughs> Donald no. Kelly for president. <laughs> no, man, I really appreciate the value you brought today, man, the great insights that you, you shared with us. And if folks want to get in touch with you, what's the best way for them to connect with you? Uh, they can connect with me on, I'm really big on Instagram right now, but I mean, Facebook is where I transact all business and communicate with people. So they can um, look me up on Facebook, Vernon T. Foster the second. That's Foster's like the beer, but I don't get royalties. And then um, Instagram is Vernon underscore Foster. Awesome, man. We'll put all this stuff in our show notes. We'll get this stuff out there. Dude, thank you for the tons of value you brought on the show today. Thank you, man. Thank you for having me, Donald Kelly. I appreciate it, man. It's been a pleasure, brother. And uh, keep, uh, keep building that sales empire, man. <laughs> we'll very, do. very proud of you for what you guys have been able to do here with the Sales Evangelist. Thanks, brother, man. I appreciate it. Cheers. Man, Vernon's brought us some goodness today and talked to us about how we can hustle, how we can beat ourselves, man. It, it's some great stuff. You gotta, you gotta just, you gotta get pumped, man. Sometimes you just gotta get out there. And I want this episode to be there for you to to help you get get the juices flowing on this Wednesday and just help you to to go out and to do big things. You know, this was a little bit longer typical than our typical uh, sales from the street episode. But you know, I wanted to just have Vernon on and we we just chat and we just went chatting and it, it just went longer. But it's some great information and I want you to just really 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 take a self-examination of yourself and see what you can do to better hustle and not be dependent on other people you can be tremendously success successful when you're able to master that so please take it and apply it all in all I want you to be successful I want you to just be the best that you can be and that requires you to do all you can do Nothing will just fall on a silver platter right in your lap. You have to make it happen. There's no such thing as luck. Luck is where opportunity meets hard work. So opportunities are there. Just go out and do some hard work and get that. So check check out TSC Hustlers League. You can go to salesevangelist.com. You can find it on the homepage, on the banner. If you're listening to this in the future, in 2050 or whatever, you can still go ahead and just go to salesevangelist.com forward slash hustlers salesevangelist.com forward slash hustlers. Um, you can also find the same exact thing by going to the salesevangelist.com forward slash hustle. So either one of those will take you to the same place. All in all, I want you to be successful. Most importantly, I want you to go out and do 
big things.